Ready? Let go, go for it. <laughs> Good job. Gangnam Style Welcome to world famous Hotong Street located in Beijing, China. So this is the metro station where you if you're coming to the metro underground train, this is the station where you come to and this is right at the main entrance of Hotong Street. Uh, Hotong Street is world famous for traditional houses, traditional Chinese houses, uh, supermarkets, shops, food shops, jewelry shops, and it's one of the most famous places to visit in China. So let me give you a, a quick uh, background of the Hotong Street. Hotong Street uh, are a type of narrow street or LA commonly associated with northern Chinese cities especially Beijing it's really clean nice we were so uh, like amazed how clean nice this uh, this site is good bins massive bins recycle bins nice clean public toilets uh, good information for tourists big signboards maps on the wall and gives you direction where is what and how to get there so the main long la street is full of shops where you can buy anything artwork on the walls so we are british and you know in, in in england we have so many pubs and beer bars and in china since day one we we couldn't we couldn't find many bars and pubs in china but in hotong there's even a bar there's even a pub you can imagine like how oh, versatile this market is there are jewelry shop you can buy bangles jewelries there's there are so many uh, food shops and uh, little tapas restaurants and uh, there, there's clothing anything you name it you can find here this is a big market in the middle of Hawthorne Street and as soon as you turn right or left off the main uh, LA you end up to a traditional looking narrow streets Chinese traditional houses awesome artwork and this this street is amazing uh, if you are in Beijing, this is a must visit uh, site. So let me give you a little bit of background. Since the mid 20th century, a large number of Beijing hotongs were demolished, actually demolished to make way for new roads and buildings. But more recently, however, many hotongs are been designated as protected so they, 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 they have right to stay there and live in a cultural and traditional way so they are protected now so hotongs were just established in uh, in the yuan dynasty in 1200 
to 1300 AC and then expanded in the Ming Dynasty from 1300 to 1600 AC and Qing Dynasty from 1600 to 1900 AC and this is this is uh, this is commonly associated with northern Chinese cities so northern look in uh, uh, buildings you'll find here nice people very welcoming uh, shop owners and good service there's artwork uh, in uh, on the buildings we really loved every second we spent there So one thing I would like to mention here, while you are in China, uh, when you shop in, don't feel shy to bargain, never pay the asking price. They're expecting this and this is normal practice in China, so don't feel shy. So Hotong is a heaven for family visits, like there is something for every member each and every member of the family kids husband wife toys electronics everything bangles jewelry I love Beijing t-shirt and of course I've been at the Great Wall, the Great Wall. So if you take left here, you will end up at the river, Hotong River.
Five ten dollars. So for two dollars. So we found this uh, CD DVD shop uh, playing loud Western style music. So we just being yeah, go so, go for it. And she just started to dance. <laughs> Good job.
Bhutan people so nice and welcoming. This girl, we took a photo with this girl. When camera comes to you, do it. So, this is world famous cat castle. So, you dine with nice warm fluffy cats wandering around really nice idea really good so hotong is really clean nice and tidy if you just look at these bins on the left there's not a single piece of rubbish around it like so tidy and public toilets nice clean people welcoming nice they give you a smile Yeah, yeah, and you 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 have to you have to pay for the tower and the city wall. 